So as we know, streaming securely on your Fire Stick, Fire TV device, Android device, streaming device, just being secure in general is very important. But the key is being secure and fast still and being properly secure, i.e. no logs. So there's been some big updates from IP Vanish, and we're going to cover them for you in this video, including one thing which will help your speed and it confirms no logs are even being kept. So before we do that, make sure you hit that follow button. And if you're already an IP Vanish user, this can be really useful for you. And if you're not an IP Vanish user, there is a link in the description, or you can just comment VPN and I'll send you the link as well. So let's get a bit more full screen so you can see me, you lucky things. So with IP Vanish now, it's available in your Amazon App Store or your Google Play Store, whichever you need. When you load in, there's a few new features. So I'm currently connected. I'm in Amsterdam. It is what it is. So what you have now within here, in your locations, you can select RAM only servers. OK, RAM only servers not only seem to be a hell of a lot quicker, but they're also RAM only. So there's no storage. You know, there's no SSD or anything like that. They're just running through RAM. So when this is disconnected or when these are turned off, there's no storage, so there's nothing saved. So there is no logs within that server. The server is just RAM. So it's no actual physical memory within it. So if you can select RAM only servers, you will bound to get a much better speed. So you can click them, connect them, click and easily onto RAM only. And then you can go and check your speed. So we are now connected on an Edinburgh server and we can do a quick speed check as well. OK, so to do a speed check on your Fire Stick, you can go to settings, go to network. There's a few more features I will show you as well. Push play. And then you can run a speed test. This is useful. OK, this is useful because it will actually tell you what sort of streaming you can do. I can support up to 4K streaming, 205 megabytes per second with a VPN running, which is a huge speed. Huge speed, plenty of speed. You don't need anywhere near that for streaming. And that's running IP Vanish VPN. OK, good thing also with the VPN is a few features you have with inside it. Obviously, you can change your location, which can give you more content. But have you ever tried adding a shortcut? I saw this tip from Tech Doctor UK, and it's actually really useful because what you can do is add a shortcut. You can pick your country. So pick the country you want. And then you can pick an app and it will use that country to open the app via the shortcut. So if you picked one of these apps, for example, because you want it on that. So next time you come into your VPN, you click it, it will connect to your country. And then it will open up that application. I'm going to get out of that so we don't get in trouble. So that's really useful. So if you find a server which works, you can do that straight off and add it in the shortcut. Very useful. Another line you can use, I would recommend, is if you go in your settings. In here, you have a couple of things. You have protocol. I find WireGuard the fastest. I'd recommend that to all of you to check you are selected to. But check the other ones out if they work better for you. But I would prefer WireGuard. And if you find some apps you do not want on your VPN, you don't want your VPN running for because either it doesn't work, you can use split tunneling. Turn split tunneling on. Go into Manage Apps, and in here, you can select an application. I don't know, for example, if you didn't want it running on maybe your Netflix, because you feel you have nothing to hide from Netflix, you can go down, select Netflix, when I get there, select it. So what will happen now is your VPN will run as it normally does, but when you open up Netflix, the VPN is not running, if that's what you decide, or maybe BBC iPlayer, things which are geo-locked and you don't want a Netflix running for that. Those options are there for you as well. So you have a Netflix, you have a VPN running when you need it. And then certain apps, if you don't want the VPN running like that, you can just put it in your split tunneling. All of that simply for one cost in your device. And for those who say, oh, it's only in dollars or wrong currency, you can change the currency at the top there. So you can select which currency you want and it will change the pricing and it's cheap. This will go on unlimited devices for one account. So you don't need to um, sign up for an account on all devices, just one account. That's linked underneath. We are partner with IP Vanish, you know that. That's how we get a 
great offer for you and we also do get a small commission for that we're not making millions here it's one pound 58 a month so i'm not retiring on it it does help support the channel if you do want a vpn and support the channel this is the way to do it it's one of the best ways to support the channel and you stay safe we get a small cut which helps us do what we do and bring you the great information and everyone's a winner brilliant i've been doc squiffy check out the ram only servers and i'll see you soon